Launching at Ponca, we diligently loaded our boats for a 103-mile trip, ending at Rush Landing. This was a new river for us. We didn't know what to expect, beyond some basic knowledge obtained through research, but we were certain there would be some surprises in store for us. Immediately, with just a few paddle strokes in, the river greeted us with its profound beauty and remarkable topography. Due to a late start following a long drive, we only planned to paddle about four miles to first camp, for just that distance, we were mesmerized. It has been said that the upper section of the buffalo is an outstanding section to run. From our experience, that's absolutely true.
The Buffalo River starts as a stream in the Boston Mountains and flows about 150 miles until joining the White River. The Buffalo is one of the longest undammed rivers west of the Mississippi. And it became the nation's first national river by congressional decision in 1972. The river remains well-preserved, both pristine and fantastic. On this trip, we started at Ponca and would have elected to start six miles further upriver at Boxley had the water levels been optimal. We were just grateful to once again be on the water with good company. Not knowing what would meet us around each bend contributed to the sense of adventure and most certainly held our attention. Roughly nine miles into our trip, and about a mile downriver from Jim Bluff, we found a trail on river left leading us to Hemmed In Hollow Falls. The trail wound through the majestic woods, revealing subtle and stunning features. When we arrived, the waterfall and its surroundings were surreal. 
Cascading from just over 200 feet, the water performed a ballet and danced playfully within the strong valley winds. We were awestruck. As we continued downriver, we were occasionally greeted by others who were appreciating the river's gifts. We made new acquaintances and were better for it. About a mile or two down river from Hemden Falls on river left, we observed a small waterfall. We hiked up a bit and were surprised to discover even more, one after the other. It was a serene area that we later learned to be called Bear Cave Hollow.
we continuously encountered sheer bluffs with stark contrast due to the mineral deposits. Carved by the knife of time and pressure, they were an awesome sight. This river offered an immense amount of splendor. With every mile, our thoughts moved away from life's daily endeavors and enabled focus on the moment. Just being present on that river at that time was a spiritual experience. After about 20 miles paddled, we made camp for our second night. The remainder of our trip would certainly be eventful. <laughs> 